this is the fall 2024 exam one practice exam two problem two so we're this is a multiple choice mcq and here's the question suppose we want to prove or disprove that for all integers x if 5x is even then 3x plus 6 is even which of the following are true and we're given uh, the lines to a bunch of different types of proofs we could do so let's look at a there's a correct proof by contraposition that contains the contrapositive is that if 5x is odd, then 3x plus 6 is odd. So let's first think about what our definition for the contrapositive is. If we have a statement A implies B, then the contrapositive would be swapping both sides of the if-then statement and negating them. So it would be not B implies not A. So what are the A and B statements in our question here? 5x is even is our A statement. And then we say 3x plus 6 is even. That's our B statement. So the contrapositive in this case would be 3x plus 6 is odd implies that 5x is odd. However, in the in uh, part A, or in answer A, they say that the contrapositive is that 5x is odd. Or if 5x is odd, then 3x plus 6 is odd, which is a swapped order. This would be not A implies not B, instead of not B implies not A. So we know that A is incorrect. Part B, or answer B says that there's a correct direct proof that contains assume 5x is even. So how do we do direct proofs with if then statements? Well, the whole point of direct proofs is that we're going to assume the if part and then prove the then part. So what would assuming the if part look here? we would be assuming our A statement here, and we would say, assume 5x is even. And that's clearly what it says in part B. So B is correct. Uh, for answer C, there is a correct proof by contradiction that contains, assume for a contradiction that if 5x is even, then 3x plus 6 is odd. So let's think about our definition for a contradiction. So if we have our statement A implies B, then we would need to negate it to get our contradiction. And using implication breakout, we know that this is equivalent to A and not B. So what would A and not B be in this situation? It would be 5x is even and 3x plus 6 is odd. However, for part C, we see that we have a if-then statement, which doesn't exist anywhere in our uh, negation. So that means that C must be incorrect. For part D, we have that, or sorry, for answer D, we have that there's a correct proof by cases that contains the following cases. Case one, X is even. Case two, X is odd. So with proofs by cases, the whole, the whole idea is that we have to cover the entire domain for what X could be. So since x is any integer, we know that x must either be even or odd. So if our two cases are being even and odd, that means that we've covered all possibilities for what x could be. So this is correct. And then finally, uh, E says that there is a correct disproof that contains the statement, I will prove the negation to the original claim. While this is how we would start a disproof, this statement that we're given is actually correct. And how do we know that this is a correct statement? Well, we can do some math with even and odd numbers. For a very rough proof of this, if 5x is even, that means that we have a odd number times something is even. And this is only true if our other number is even, because an odd number times an even number is even, while an odd number times an odd number is still odd. So we know that x must be an even number. Since x is an even number, we know 3 times x is also an even number. And an even number plus 6 will still be even. So we actually know that this statement uh, is true. So that means that E is uh, incorrect because there is not a correct disproof of this. So our answer to the multiple choice question would be B and E.